Hello, how are you guys doing today? Today we're going to learn about combining like terms. Combining like terms will help you simplify algebraic expressions, it'll help you solve equations, it'll help you solve inequalities. It's a very useful skill that you use in algebra. Alright, so let's see how we combine like terms. Alright, steps to combining like terms. Step one, we want to separate the terms. Step two, identify the like terms. In step three, we combine the like terms. And you will combine the like terms by either adding or subtracting. All right, so you might be thinking to yourself, what are terms and what are like terms? Well, terms are an algebraic expressions or equations and they're separated by plus and minus signs. Anything that has a plus or a subtraction sign in front of it is a term. Uh, like terms have the same variable raised to the same power. All right, so for example, let's say I had 2x, I had negative 4x, and I had 5x squared. All right, and I'm looking for like terms. So like terms mean they have the same exponent or same variable and the same exponent for the same power. So if I look at this, I can see that 2x and negative 4x are like terms because they have the same variable and they both don't have an exponent. Whereas 5x squared is not a like term for these two because even though it has the same variable, it has an exponent of two. So this would not be a like term for 2x and negative 4x. Like terms have the same variable raised to the same power or exponent. All right, let's try this down here. It says circle all terms that can be combined with 3a. So we're going to circle all terms that can combine with 3a. Pause the video and see if you can do it yourself. Unpause it when you're finished. All right, let's see how you did. All right, so if I looked all through here, I saw two that can, can be combined with 3a. I saw 14a and 4a. And that's because they have the same variable and there's no exponent here, just like how this 3a has no exponent. Some people might have picked like number two here where it says 5ab because they saw the a but this has a B in it, so it cannot can be combined with that 3A. Uh, another mistake someone could have made is they could have picked 3A squared, but that's not a like term because it has that second power there, that squared sign. So that cannot be combined with 3A. All right, let's try the next one. It says draw a square around anything that can be combined with 4B. Pause the video and see if you can do it on your own. Unpause it when you're finished. All right, let's see how you did. I looked through and I saw there's two that you can combine with 4b. I saw a 3b and a 16b. Both of those just have a b, just like this, so they have the same variable raised to the same power. All right, now it says underline all the terms that can be combined with a squared. So underline the terms you think you can be combine with a squared. Pause the video and try on your own first. Unpause it when you're finished. All right, let's see how you did. I found two I can combine with a squared. I found 3a squared and 73a squared. They have the same variable raised to the same power. Same variable raised to the same power. Um, I cannot combine it with like 5a to the third power because that's a th the exponent's a three, where a squared, the exponent's a two. So I could not combine it with that uh, 5a to the third power. It has to have the same variable raised to the same power. All right, let's try the last one. The last one here says, draw an X through all the terms that can, can be combined with five. So you can put a big X for the ones that can be combined with five. Pause the video, try it on your own first, and then unpause it when you're finished. All right, let's see what, how you did. I found two, I found 17 and 100. 17 and 100 are like terms with five because five does not have a variable next to it. It's called a constant. A constant is a number that does not have a variable attached with it. So the only ones that do not have any variables next, next to it are 17 and 100. Those are the only two that you can combine with five. All right, so let's put this in the practice where you might actually use it. It says example one, simplify the expression. I have two X minus three minus 10 X plus one. All right, step one, separate the terms. So what I wanna do is I wanna go through this and whenever I see a plus or a minus sign, I'm gonna draw a line and separate those terms. So I see a minus sign there, I put a, a line in front. See a minus sign there, put a line in front. And then I see a plus one there at the end, so I'm gonna put a line in front. So that's my step one, separate the terms. 
Step two, it says identify the like terms. So remember, I'm looking for the same variable raised to the same exponent. So I'm going to circle this first one. I see I have a 2x. Do I have any other x's? I do. I have a minus 10x. All right. And I don't have any other x's. So then I can keep going and see if I have any other like terms. Um, I'm going to change colors here. Let's do orange. Um, I found I have a negative 3, so just a number with no variable. So do I have any other numbers with no variables? Yeah, I have this plus 1. So those are like terms. Like terms have the same variable raised to the same power. So I'm done with step 2. Now I can combine the like terms. So when I combine like terms, I know that these two are the same. They're like terms because they both just have an x. So the sign in front will tell me what to do. So this is 2x, and then I see this is a negative 10x. Well, the same thing as a negative is subtracting. So really, this is 2x minus 10x. So I can do 2 minus 10, and 2 minus 10 is negative 8. And then that x stays with it. And I can do the same thing for my other like terms. I have negative 3, and I have plus 1. And now I just add it. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So my final answer is negative 8x minus 2. I can't simplify it anymore. I can't combine it. I can't do negative 8 minus 2 because this 2 does not have an x. So they're two separate things. This is my final answer. All right, let's try another one. All right, for these ones, the practice ones, the simplify the expression. I want you to pause the video, try these on your own, and then unpause when you're finished. When you're done, ch check your work, pause the video again, and check your work compared to my work and see how you did. All right, so let's see here. Step one, separate the terms. I put a line in front of every plus or minus sign. Step two, I find my like terms. So I see I have a 10y and a negative 7y in my first example. All right, so that means I can combine those two. So that would be 10y minus 7y, and 10 minus 7 is 3, and that y stays with it. I also see I have a negative 6 and a plus 10. I can combine those, negative 6 plus 10. Negative 6 plus 10 is 4, and since that's a positive 4, I'm going to put a plus in front. So that would be my final answer, 3y plus 4. Try that next example on your own. Unpause it when you're done. All right, my final answer was 8y plus 2. Check your work, look at my work, see how, see how you did. If you got it wrong, that's okay. Just go back, check your, check your work, and correct your answers. All right, let's go on to our next example. All right, example two, simplify the expression. Remember, like terms must have the same variable and raised to the same exponent. All right, step one, whenever I see a plus or minus sign, I'm going to put a line in front of it to separate my terms. Step two, I'm going to find my like terms. So I'm going to circle my first one. I see 3x squared. I'm going to look, do I have any other x squareds? And I do. I have 4x squared. So I know I can combine those two. I have 3x squared and I have plus 4x squared. Make sure you bring down the sign with you because you have to know if you're going to be adding or subtracting. All right, do I have any other like terms? Well, I see I have a 6x there, and I have a plus 5x. So I'm going to bring those down. I have a plus 6x, and I have a plus 5x. All right, do I have any other like terms? Well, I have a negative 7, but I don't have anything to combine it with. So I'm just going to bring down that negative 7. So now that I have that, I can now combine my like terms. So these two here I can combine, and I know that 3 plus 4 gives me 7. So this would be 7x squared. And I can combine these two terms that I found, 6x plus 5x. 6 plus 5 is 11, so this would be 11x. And it's positive, so I put a plus in front. This minus 7, I can't combine with anything, so I just bring it down. So my final answer would be 7x squared plus 11x minus 7. All right, let's try this next one together. First thing I'm going to do is separate my terms. I'm going to put a line in front of every plus and minus sign that I see. My next turn, thing I'm going to do, my next step is circle or combine or find my like terms. So I see I have 2x squared. Do I have any other x squareds? I have a negative 11x squared. So I know I can combine those two. 2x squared minus 11x squared. 
Notice I always bring that sign in front with it because that tells you if you're going to add or subtract. All right, do I have any other like terms? Well, I see I have a 5x and another plus 5x. So I can combine those two, plus 5x and plus 5x, and I brought those signs down with it. I also see I have a negative 12 and a plus 9, so I can combine those, and I bring the signs down with it. So now I can combine my like terms. 2x squared minus 11x squared is negative 9x squared. 5x plus 5x is 10x, and negative 12 plus 9 is negative 3. And that's my final answer. I cannot combine anything else. I am done. All right, practice number two. Simplify the expression. Pause the video and try this one on your own. Unpause it when you're done to check your work and see how you did. All right, how'd you do? All right, so we went through it, separated them. We found these two are uh, like terms and these two are like terms. And my final answer was 14x squared minus 2x. If your answer does not look like mine, go back and check your work and correct your errors. All right, let's try another one. Example three, simplify the expression. So first, I'm going to go through and separate. Every time I see a plus or minus sign, I'm going to draw a line in front of it. That's my first step. My next step, I'm going to see if I have any like terms. So I see I have a negative one here. Do I have any other numbers with no variables? I have a plus five. So I know I can combine those, negative one plus five. So then I'm gonna go to my next term. I see I have a negative x. Do I have any other with x in it? I see I have a negative six x. So I know I can combine those. So I'm gonna put those next to each other, negative x minus six x. And then I'm gonna go to my next term. I see I have plus five y and minus three y. Both of those have a y in it, so I know I can combine it. So plus 5y minus 3y. And now I can combine my like terms. So negative 1 plus 5 would give me 4. Negative x minus 6. Well, there's no number in front of that x. Whenever there's no number in front of an x, there's really a 1. So this is really negative 1 minus 6. Negative 1 minus 6 is negative 7. And then that x stays with it. And then I have 5y minus 3y. 5 minus 3 is 2, and that y stays with it. Since that's a positive 2, I put a plus in front. And then that's my final answer. 4 minus 7x plus 2y. Sometimes in algebra, you'll see it written in alphabetical order. So you'll see negative 7x plus 2y. And then this 4, or any number that doesn't have a variable, will go at the end. That's a positive 4. So that'd be plus four. That top line and this bottom line mean the exact same thing. This is just written in alphabetical forms. The X comes before Y, so it goes first when you put the answer. But this is our final answer. Four minus seven X plus two Y or negative seven X plus two Y plus four. All right, practice number three, simplify the expression. Pause the video and try this one on your own. When you're done, unpause it and see how you finished. I notice the typo here. This should uh, see it's a capital Y. Let's erase that. Beep. That really should be a lowercase y, in case that's throwing you off. It's a lowercase y. All right, so pause the video, do the steps, and see how you do. Unpause it when you're done. All right, how'd you do? I got 5x minus y minus 6, or you might have gotten negative y plus 5x minus 6. That's fine. Either one's good. Remember in algebra, though, they usually write the uh, variables in alphabetical order first and then the numbers with no variables. All right. But that's how you combine like terms. First, you separate all your terms. Second, you identify which ones are like, which ones can you combine. And then third, you finally combine your like terms by either adding or subtracting. If you have any questions, please ask a teacher. We'll be glad to help you. See you later.